Okay, one last quick personal story and then I'll let you guys go. I should walk over here. I grew up with a mom who in the 70s was very much what we used to call back then a woman's liver. She supported our rights. She thought a woman should be able to be whatever they want to be. Pro-choice. She was the woman who my friends and my sisters went to when they needed to be taken for abortions because she didn't question them. She just took them and held their hand and that was that. Over the years, my mother became more and more conservative in her thoughts and her beliefs. Um, and she voted for he who I will not name. <laughs> so she called me up last week, completely stunned, stunned. She said, Gail, how could this have happened in this country? This is not Gilead. How could this have happened to our country? And I said, well, Mom, that's what happens when you vote for a man who thinks it's okay to grab a woman by the kitty cat. So keep that in mind. Go out and vote. Make sure you vote for pro-choice candidates. I thank you all for coming. I thank the steering committee and all the speakers today who were able to get this together within a week. Please be patient for the shuttle bus. And thank you all for coming up and letting your voices be heard for choice. Thank you.